Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in my new daily driver, an Audi RS6, and next to me is a Lamborghini Urus, which is the daily driver of my good friend, Yanni. Hey, Yanni, how you doing? Hi, Matt, how are you? Sorry, I was on my phone, like normal, like always. <laughs> well, there's a surprise. What do you think of my new car? Is that your car? my car, let me explain to you. So Audi has let me this car for six months to test drive it, to do various reports on it, to film drag races with it. And I'm not just gonna say it's totally brilliant. I mean, I have to be objective and a journalist about it. For instance, I've only had it for probably a few weeks now and I've noticed a rattle from behind the dash, which is a bit annoying. Sorry, Audi, it's there, so I've gotta tell people. Anyway, it's my new daily driver, so I'm gonna be driving it regularly. What do you think about it? That's the question. RS6, great car. Green and brown, tell me you didn't spec that colour. Do you know what I totally spec'd it? I had to go off piste for the green, Simona Green it is, it's not part of the normal palette, it's like Audi exclusive. And I did actually click my mouse on the box, which resulted in this brown interior. And I think the combination works really well. Okay then. <laughs> Mate. I'm not really a man to judge, am I, with my chrome cars, so yeah, whatever. Though, the car you're in now with that wrap, that looks wicked. Carbon fibre wrap on that Urus is just one of the best wraps, if not the best wraps I have ever seen. I'd love that on this or on my Jimny. Interestingly, the very day that Yanni picked up that Urus, I picked up my Jimny, and the very day that he picked up his Taycan, I picked up this, well I say picked up, Audi delivered me <laughs> this RS6. One very big difference, my pockets are empty and yours are still very full because you didn't pay for anything. Oh, did you actually buy the Jimny? Is the Jimny yours or is that another loaner? Oh no, I bought the Jimny with my own money and my bank actually refused my credit card when I tried to pay for it all out on cash. In fact, you know what, if you click on the pop out banner up there, you can just look at the kind of chaos that ensued when I tried to buy a Suzuki Jimny on my card and pay for it in full in cash. It's just crazy. Go check it out. And also, while you're there, please subscribe to my own channel, Matt Watson Cars. Also, while you're at it, why don't you subscribe to Yanni's channel as well, Yanni Mize, the link's in the description below. Make sure you go and do that. And obviously, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. And you know what I've forgotten to do? I've forgotten to give you the stats on these cars. <laughs> so this Audi RS6, it has a four litre twin turbo V8 with 600 horsepower, 800 newton meters of torque. It's got all wheel drive, eight speed automatic gearbox. It weighs 2,075 kilos and it costs 94 and a half thousand pounds starting price. That Lamborghini Urus actually has the very same four litre twin turbo V8, but it's tuned up to 650 horsepower and 850 newton meters of torque. Also got all wheel drive, eight speed automatic gearbox. It's a bit heavier, 2,199 kilos, and it's a bit more expensive, 160,000 pounds starting price. So that one's like over 200 grand. I think that's all the stuff that we need to know. Oh, another thing, I keep forgetting, sound check. Sound check on this Audi. It's got the sports exhaust, by the way. Sounds a bit crap, really, doesn't it? Especially when you're stationary and just revving it. It's better when you're driving, but Audi loves its soft limiters. Let's be humiliated by Yanni's Urus. Go on, Yanni. Do you think? <sighs> All right, shut up now. That's enough, enough. Yeah, your car sounds way better than this one. Let's just get on with the race. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Right, just quickly, Matt, what are you doing? I'm going in Corsa. Are you running traction or not? Because as I said, I've got a slight delay, which affects the race. It will affect the result. I've got it in arse two mode. Traction in like this sport stability mode, so it gives you a bit of slip, but doesn't allow you to crash. But have you decided a setting or have you just like fallen asleep there? I was playing around. I'm just going to go Corsa and I'm going to leave the ESC on for this. And the chances are we're going to run it again and I'll leave it off. But it's just got that slight delay and that's what's going to really give you the edge. Do you know what? You've lost this race even before you started because you're talking like a loser. Let's get on with it. 
Yeah, that'd be about right. <laughs> oh, he's lost his confidence. I feel defeated already. Bless him. This is not like Yanni. I think he's tired. He's just come back off holiday. Three, two, one. Oh, I saw him just bog down. Yeah, let's see. Dip down. Looks like a beat, Yanni, and quite convincingly. Yeah, but I don't think my launch was right, if I'm honest with you. It seems to dip down, like it pulls away, and I'm with you, and then it will dip for a second, and then it comes back, but by then you're already gone. Can we do it again, please? All right, we can do it again. Three, two, one. Ooh. He had me off the line. Uh-oh, come on. I'm gonna come past him now, I hope. Oh, this is close! Come on, come on, this is so close. Oh. So close, he definitely had me off the line. I'm sorry I doubted you. I'm sorry I doubted you. My bad, my bad. Where I was running, there was a little bit of water, standing water, and this just lost a bit of traction. And he got ahead. Good start, Yanni. You started well there. You can't fault your car. I'll be honest, I just had to apologize to my car and I said, listen, I'm sorry I doubted you. That was close, mate. That was incredible. I really enjoyed that. I'm not sure, but I think I won. What do you reckon? It was very close. And if you did, it'll be point millimetres, point millimetres of seconds. You get, you get what I'm saying. So then what exactly happened? Well, both cars did the standing quarter mile in 11.7 seconds. But looking at the slow motion action replay, which car do you think crossed the line first? The Audi or the Lamborghini? Please vote in my pinned comment to decide the winner. Now we're going to have a rolling race and I'm going to put the car into comfort mood. So. Come on, comfort. So it's going to be just normal automatic for the gearbox. We're going to do it for 50 miles an hour and see what happens. Are you ready? You got everything in comfort mode in full auto on the gearbox? I am. Let's do this then. From 50 miles an hour, get level, level. Right, I'm going to count it. Three, two, one, go. Oh my God, this took, <laughs> I thought this took ages to kick down. <laughs> Takes a week to drop. <laughs> it's just like... That was terrible. I thought my car took ages to kick down. I mean, I was right on the money when I said go, so I had a slight advantage. But yours just like paused forever. Shall I be honest with you? I looked down and I was in seventh gear <laughs> when it dropped down. And I'm like, oh my God. And I was thinking... Whenever you're ready, mate. Whenever you're ready, let's, let's just go. <laughs> now we're going to have a rolling race again, but this time the cars are going to be in manual mode for the gearboxes and in a sportier setting. So I'm going to go into RS2 mode again. Should be good to go. All right, then, Yanni. Let's go for it. Go into third. All right, and I was going to say for you to get level, but I need to get level to you. Here we go. You ready? Three, two, one, go. A bit better. We're going now. Right, this will be interesting. What speed am I coming past him at? Oh, oh yes, 144 though. Took a while. Yep, 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 yep. We saw how that played out. Hmm. How was that for you, Yanni? It's quite good for me. Yeah, started off all right, and then got to 150, but yeah, you come past me. You are in a 
car though, and I'm in a 4 x 4 let's not forget that. This is actually a 4 x 4 it's got 4 wheel drive. It's higher, aerodynamics, wider, better looking, it's just me versus you in it really. <laughs> I think wider, <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> better looking. Let's know in the comments box below. <laughs> now we're going to have a brake test from 70 miles an hour. Let's see who's going to win the brake test. Hey, tell him to come. come on then. Come on, you can come to him. Come on, join in. So when we reach line, full emergency stop from 70 miles an hour. Here comes the line. You're nice and level. Well done. Here we go. I've got to tell you this, Yanni. I cannot remember the last time I beat you in a brake test. I'd say now. <laughs> right now. So overall, I think the RS6 won. Did it win? I don't know, did it win? Yeah, it probably did. Am I disappointed? I probably am. <laughs> Would I have the Urus over the RS6? Hell yeah. Fair enough. But anyway, really nice car. I do like it a lot and it's wicked in that wrap. Cheers. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like let me know of any other videos you'd like to see in the comments below and if you haven't done so already follow Yanni at Yannimize and if you click on the pop-out banner up there you can go to his channel and just hit the subscribe button he'd really appreciate it anyway thanks for watching hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you know when we do an upload look in the top video look it's me and Matt oh it's a bromance so Yanni, do you prefer estate cars or SUVs? SUV, mate, all day long. I haven't got a dog to put in the back of that. Fair enough. Or as Yanni says, fair him off. Or is it fur him off? Cock that up. Although, doubly new and dope for the win.